This conference will now be recorded. Okay, uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, uh, so <clears throat> I said I sent the uh, HTML document and uh, record video also. Okay, hmm. so have you got it? Uh, any doubt, any questions on that? Um, yeah, actually, uh, we didn't get a chance to do anything today. Okay, I could have practiced some, but I didn't get any chance to do it. Okay, okay. So hopefully, tomorrow <laughs> I'll practice okay. it and I'll ask. Yeah, okay. Thank <clears throat> you. It's not open. Yeah. Okay. So in the <clears throat> previous class, we completed the top uh, uh, creating the header, uh, like okay, first container, okay, and the inside container, like header, okay. In the header, we have some uh, two elements, mm -hmm. like uh, company name and navigation, right? Mm -hmm. Again, in the navigation section, we use. Uh, do uh, an order list list item and anchor okay i applied a little bit css okay as per our template here it is a bookmark it yeah okay so here we need to apply some css uh but the font size okay and some custom font like a style font okay and applying uh, some uh, spacing which okay. item okay and next uh, creating drop down okay so but by default the drop down you cannot see on mouse or services you can see the drop down okay and the mouse out it will add out that is complete uh, the css okay so now first uh, let me apply some uh, good font and uh, colors okay uh, for the text okay as i said in the previous class we can use like uh, free fonts also for our website out of our uh, system fonts okay we can use some custom and style fonts from online okay from the google yeah. fonts okay you can find it in the uh, free fonts okay so here uh, i'm going to use the google fonts fonts.google okay this is completely uh, free you can use uh, for your application even for your clients also you can use uh, these fonts Okay, no need to take any uh, license and all. Okay. Okay. Uh, most of the fonts, like 90% fonts, you can use as a free. Uh, some of the fonts, like the uh, hey style fonts, uh, you need to take the license from that. Okay, so here mm -hmm. I can find from one good font uh, for our page. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, Roboto Slab. Roboto Slab is actually the new font, this one. Okay. So I'm going to use this font. So after clicking on the, this, here you can download directly from this link, download family, so that all the fonts available in your local system. Okay, that is one way to use this font. Or else you can get 
uh, embedded link also. Okay, mm -hmm. embedded link means a custodian link, content delivery network. You can say content delivery network. Okay, so here, uh, just I'm going to view the selected families. Okay. <coughs> Printing. Select step. I'm going to use the third one. Okay. So like this. Okay. After clicking this, you can see here the first one is review. Okay. The font name, a roboto slab, and the thickness of your font and in the, your text thickness, the light we have. Okay. And then you can see add more styles. Suppose if you want more styles like this. Like increasing thickness, okay. You can add it, okay. Suppose if you want to use the same style, you just go to the amber line, okay. And just copy this here, like how I had done in the previous class, so like using the link tag and uh, calling the style sheet the same way. We are going to use here. So this is select like amber line coming from the uh, Google fonts. So here you can see the fonts.googleapa.com and uh, <coughs> style and then font name. Just completely. Okay. So that means this uh, robot of flap font available in our website. Hmm. Okay. You, you can use like this using, using the embedded link. Uh, you can download the fonts directly by clicking on the download folder or download button. And you can use as a local font from your system. Okay, that I also I will teach you how to use the uh, CSS3 fonts, <coughs> how to use from the local from your uh, local folder. That I will teach in the CSS3 class. Okay, just I'm going to use this link. Okay, okay. Uh, so here <coughs> now I can apply this font. Okay. I have to copy the uh, font name also. Font name that is uh, declaration. Yeah. This is the <coughs> font family Roboto Slab. This one. I have to mention in the selector. Okay, so here first I'm going to uh, style sheet, which is I have already created. Okay, style.css. For example, if you want to play the this font entire the web, web page, okay, so you can mention in the body tag. Okay. Yes. Body is the main parent element of the whole of the web page, right? So mm -hmm. if you apply the body tag, it will apply all the content, like headers, paragraphs, hyperlinks, until you are changing, you are applying some other font. So by default, the robot of slab font will apply, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now let me check if it's applying or not. Yeah, it's applying the font. Okay. Once I added the font in the body tag, okay, because that is a main parent uh, selector for the whole page. So it's applying text like uh, H1 or H2, even applying the anchor also. Okay, so like this also, you can uh, apply some custom fonts from the Google API or you can use any other free open source. Okay. So now <clears throat> I'm going to apply a little bit CSS on mouse over. When I mouse over on the home or about us, uh, I should apply some CSS like changing color okay, or applying some thickness or applying some background color for the hyperlink. Okay. So here, you know, I created one class for the hyperlinks, right? For the navigation. Yes. This mm -hmm. main nav, the main nav list item, and then inside list item, I have an anchor type. Okay, so inside the anchor, uh, inside the ally, I have anchor, and for the anchor, I'm going to write h over pseudo selector. H over. Okay, mm -hmm. here you can say anchor. If you say directly, these are the selectors anchor selector, list item selector, and uh, main nav selector, the class selector. And uh, once you said like anchor column h over, it's, it's like you can say pseudo selectors. <coughs> we have some of the pseudo selectors for the anchor like h or link active okay so these are all like pseudo selectors 
I will send you on uh, cheat sheets about the HTML and uh, CSS. Okay, so that you will understand what is the pseudo selectors. Okay, uh, okay. and what are the selectors and all. Uh, I will send you right away. I will send you. Okay, this is about the HTML. Okay, from the top to bottom, I mentioned uh, tags like uh, tags and small description. Okay, most of the tags uh, we are using in the HTML page in every HTML page. Okay, the tag and small description about the tag. Okay, so here again, this is uh, about HTML. Okay, and uh, another one is CSS. In the CSS also mention all the uh, properties and the values and about the pseudo selectors also. See here. So yesterday I applied some background, right? So actually the background is one property, main property. Mm. So background we have multiple properties: background image, background position, background size, beach attachment. Like these many type of backgrounds we can apply. Uh, from the CSS. Total how many? One, four, four, eight. So we have eight different uh, background properties. We can apply as a background color, we can apply as a background color, uh, background gradient. Okay. And uh, you can place background image like the top, left, bottom, right, or middle of the page. Okay. And you can mention the background size also. And you can repeat the background image. Okay. Suppose if you want to repeat the same like image. You can use the background repeat and repeat. Mm -hmm. So, like uh, this orange color is the main property, uh, which is we are using in the CSS, and the, in the white color one is uh, sub properties like background, <coughs> background, background position, background size. Okay. okay, like this, all like text related, image related, okay, other uh, selectors, all I mentioned here. Just to go through one by one, okay, like this, like border related. Okay, and uh, some of the text related like box model. Okay, the strategy right about the float, float left, right, now. So that means the float we have only left and right. Okay, yeah. either we are going to fix the content on the left side, extreme left, or extreme right. So here uh, the margin, margin top, margin right, margin bottom, margin left like four sides uh, flag base you can apply uh, four sides or you can apply any specific uh, side like the top or left or right of or applying these four, four properties okay so these two i will share with you uh, let me set this one. okay okay CSS only. CSS change. <laughs> okay uh, so just go through on it one by one so here i mentioned a lot of uh, tags and attributes handle okay uh, so in this sheet sheet uh, uh, some of the, the tags attributes you can ignore which i am not teaching because that is not important okay 
okay. the tax, for example, acronym. Okay, like this. This kind of uh, tax contract part. Okay, so you can go through like uh, I teach you already about uh, strong. Okay, a B tag, EM tag, I tag. Okay, and abbreviation tag, quotation tag. Okay, I teach all of this. Okay. Okay, so here, uh, like this is like you can say, uh, pseudo selectors for the anchor tag. So that means when I mouse over on the anchor, uh, something we are going to show, like uh, applying background color, applying some thickness. Okay, changing text color. Okay, I'm going to apply it. So here I'm going to use uh, color uh, property, and here I'm applying some color for the text. See, it's changing the grand, uh, green color from black to green. Right? Hmm. Can you see the grand, uh, green color is changing? Yeah. Okay. So like this, using uh, pseudo selector like H over, you can apply some different color. So that means we are going to override uh, background, uh, the black color with the with your pseudo selector. Okay, but in the head section there is any change because this is a H1 text. Okay, here I didn't give any uh, pseudo selector, I didn't apply any uh, color. This remains the same uh, orange color. Okay, so this is our navigation, and as per our template, uh, here on most of services, we're going to show some uh, drop down. Okay, so as I said in the order list, like order list or order list, suppose we mm -hmm. want to use like nested items, like drop downs, like tree menu, a given one example also. Do you remember? Mm. Yeah. For the drop downs. Okay. So yeah. in the services section, I have to add some drop down. Mm. So it means inside the services LA, I have to write the second, like uh, nested. Uh, List item and anchor because the service drop down is part of uh, main services navigation. Hmm. Okay, that should be inside your services uh, section. Okay, right. so here I'm going to use again the same like UL and uh, LA again anchor also. HRF. So over here I'm going to so you said the main anchor is a Nash. Okay, so in the in this, I'm going to write some services. For example, web development. Like this, I'm going to use four or five years. So for here, you can say UI development. Okay, uh, for example, here you can say uh, full stack development. Okay. Here you can say mobile development. Okay, so like uh, four services I have <laughs> that I was listed out in the service uh, main navigation. Okay, let me check first how it is displayed. Okay, so it's displaying directly, and that is not in the correct way. Okay, something. Something is taking place. Let me check. Okay, you will. Okay, hello. No, everything is correct. Then why it's displaying like this? Client services. Okay, <coughs> so here. So first thing is uh, we need to hide the the services uh, drop down. So it should not display by default. When I mouse over on the services, it should display. And when <coughs> I mouse out, again it will hide. Okay. So first for the hiding purpose here in the style sheet. So first of all, I need to uh, write the selected, the right selector. The main navigation 
and then ally inside the ally i can use the second level uh, ul right do you understand this selector first uh, main nav class and then ally and then mm -hmm. ul because the first ally is our parent ally okay mm -hmm. that means in the parent ally i have listed the service uh, navigation for the drop down purpose again i use ul like uh, second level or nested uh, UL. Oh. Mm. Okay, for enter UL, I have to hide first and then I can show how to mouse over. Okay, so using this mm. selector, this I'm going to use a display none. So, does display none here means that is, we are going to hide any information mm -hmm. that can be any uh, data, any information display. So, that I use <coughs> hiding data, you can say hiding data. Okay, so display means hiding the data. Let me check. Yeah, now it is hide. Okay, so like this, you can hide uh, data by default. On mouse over, it should be. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for this also, the same selector. I'm going to repeat. Okay, and then uh, you will. And then inside URL again you have uh, list item, okay? On mouse over on list item, it should display. Here I'm going to use the again the same display block. So here display block means for showing the data which is hidden on the above selector, showing that. Like this. So, do you understand these two selectors? Yes. Yeah. So, first I am going to hide uh, the default uh, visible okay, using the display none, and which is uh, uh, like hiding content using LIHO selector. I am going to display. So, that means by default it's hiding, and when user mouse over on the any section like home, about services, whatever. Okay. So, we are going to display the data. Okay, so let me check. No display. No scarf everything. LIUL, LIHO, display block. Yeah, here uh, we need to apply one attribute uh, for your display block. So I will let you know. Important. No, we want smart. Okay, okay. Okay. What does the hashtag mean in hash is just dummy? Uh, the dummy means like uh, for creating hyperlink. Okay, we are going to use the dummy link because. We don't have the uh, those web web pages like web development page, UI development page. Okay. Uh, suppose if you give like web development or HTML, uh, user clicks on the link, it will show some error. So that's why we are going to give some thumbnail using the hash. Okay. Okay. If there is no any character or there is no any page name, okay, then it will not like hyper. It's just like hypertext. It's not like a clickable text. So that's why we are using for the time being using the hash. Once the page is created, we are going to mention that file uh, web development.html, UI development.html. Okay. So here uh, it should display on mouse over. Okay. Let me check in the selector part. Okay. So here I should apply li also because in the mouse over I applied for the li. Okay. So the same uh, uh, this set also uh, LA should be there. Okay, let me check this. 
Okay, maybe some problem with the we copied uh, from the other third party website, right? like the CSS reset. Okay, let me check this list time. Okay, that is no problem. Mm. OL, UL, block, port, table. Here also the list static. OL, UL, L. Okay, what they mention here? Margin 0, padding 0, board touch, font size. This is also okay, no problem. Frame HTML Anchor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. list style number. Okay, so this also no problem. List style number. Okay, content. Okay, everything is fine. Picture display or more so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Margin fifteen pixels. Let me give the anchor also, okay? Because the final end of the tag is uh, anchor, right? Mm. No. Okay, okay, here uh, some little bit problem is there. Okay, so here uh, the anchor closing tag was uh, close after the service name. Okay. So, but it should be close after the UL. Okay. So, that mm -hmm. means these are all four links inside the services. Okay. So, that means the anchor tag should be close after UL. Okay. Because the services navigation, that is the main, and uh, these are sub. Sorry. Like after. Okay. Okay, so now let me check this. Still, it's not showing. Okay.
Uh, let me remove the reset part from the CSS. Maybe some issue is there. Magnum from Comic Contagons. Local has to use fix for a text. So everything is correct. There is no any technical problem here actually. So sometimes uh, the browser history need to clear this because uh, some temp code like uh, cookies will be stored. Okay, mm -hmm. so we need to clear the browser. No, stay. So other programming languages, if there is any error, it shows like red or a, any line. Yes, like, yes. Right? Does yes. it show like that? That, you, HTML yeah, that, that you can see on the inspector. But here, uh, the HTML part, uh, it won't show any error. It's like a blank. Uh, if it is like a programming like a JavaScript or any Python language, so it will show some error, some syntax error like that. If suppose I'm missing some any uh, form or semicolon or some spell mistake, okay, there's also some error on the console section. But in HTML, there's no any uh, errors like it would also because uh, that is like just plain uh, text language, right? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so it won't show any errors. The error means it's not work, it, uh, the HTML or CSS sort of. Okay. And even important also, mention important means uh, here uh, hide uh, the hidden content should display here. The display block, everything is correct. Mm -hmm. okay.
Okay, so I will check this one today and uh, because there is no any issue with the forms of uh, HTML and CSS, maybe some technical issue. Okay. okay, so here you can see in the example where it is our example. Suppose this is like a drop down, right? Just go to inspect element and check here. So, only thing is this hiding uh, from the uh, list item selector and on h4 we are going to display see here they given the nav link here mm -hmm. where it is services in services right yeah in the services uh, this is a class like nav link that is a default class okay and on most of all, they are going to display this link here. maybe somewhere here now link okay these are all bootstrap classes uh, from the bootstrap framework okay so, so. go down talking after display in the end okay I will uh, check it uh, today and uh, teach you tomorrow. I will go for the next one. Okay, uh, so here actually there's no any uh, problem with uh, CSS or HTML. Okay, so here what I have done the first thing uh, to hide the content, which is uh, the drop down, the second level of uh, navigation. And uh, here I'm going to display the content which is hided in the uh, drop down section. So that is the main. So these two selectors is important. The above content is a main parent navigation applying the, some CSS color, font size, and the padding margins at all. Okay, mm -hmm. almost all some green color on the main navigation. And these two selectors for the top of when you mentioned the comment. Uh, drop so, down. Okay. In the yeah. last one, don't we need to put the A as well? Uh, A semicolon ho, H over. Yeah, that's all. Uh, here, basically, first we are going to hide the li content, not hyperlink content. Okay, so we are going to hide all the li content. Anchor is for the uh, for the action, like uh, suppose mouse over and uh, clicking. Okay, mm -hmm. so for that we are using the anchor tag. For displaying content, we are using the li tag, ul and li. Right, okay? so that's why it means the ul and li right right my question is um so we don't need to put a after li right because on the top we put um no. l i a semicolon h over right yes yes for the mouse over yeah for the mouse over uh here this is the selector like uh, first level that is li the main parent uh, li and inside uh, LA again use the nested UL and then LA for displaying the uh, second level navigation. Now, what she's saying is for the green hover, it says a semicolon hover. So, why yeah, this is, is the, the this is the direct selector? Uh, so, the oh. direct selector is which is applying on the mouse or on the main section like home about services client contact. So here okay. I applied the text color for the uh, uh, anchor tag because the final end tag is anchor. Okay, mm. so the navigation items inside the anchor. This one anchor tag, and before that I use the ally. Okay, for the displaying purpose I use the ally tag. Okay, and okay. Uh, for the anchor like H or okay clickable actions I use the anchor tag. So that means the web development text is immediate tag is anchor. Okay, immediate access tag. So that's why given the anchor color is green on the mouse. Okay, so here some of the, the selectors order maybe some problem here. Let, let me check here. 
H-O-U-L. What do you mean the A is the direct one? And I didn't really understand that concept. Let me check here, actually. Display Okay. Okay. So here, uh, the first selector is the first li is the main parent li inside. I use uh, ul and uh, apply the display none. Okay. So the means content is hiding. So in the second selector, main now uh, li ho. So when I mouse over on the li, so that means the main navigation, like mm -hmm. home, about services, client service. Okay. That is my li. <coughs> so on mouse over, <coughs> I'm going to display the ul. <clears throat> which is uh, hided by the above selector. So here, <clears throat> display none means all the UL content will be hide. Okay, so in the below selector, I'm going to display using H4 selector and uh, UL. Okay, now it is displaying on mouse over. Okay, for the placement position, I can write more CSS. Okay, so now we got it. The order. This is actual order. Uh, first, I have to add the UL, uh, the second level UL content, and in this, I'm going to display the all uh, UL uh, hided content. Got it? Not really. Uh -huh. I'm. I still don't understand the difference between using A and not using it. A and but for the green you have A and for this you don't. I still don't understand the difference. No, this is <clears throat> this color is applying for the text, not for the <clears throat> element like uh, L I U L. This color is I'm applying for directly to the text color. So anchor H uh, O means so the anchor is our text element. Okay, so for the mouse over effect. I give it the green color on mouse over. So here what I'm doing, the here, the first UL I'm going to hide the content and the LIH4 I'm going to display the content. So the both actions is different. Uh, first main parent I'm giving the change in color on mouse over. And in the second section, the nested items, I'm going to hide content and again mouse over display content. The two actions is different. The first one I'm going to apply the color for the text. In the second chore, I'm applying for the hiding and the displaying the color. So, what exactly does the anchor tag do? Anchor tag is like hyperlink. Uh, suppose if you want to access uh, like different different uh, web pages okay. or different uh, sections within the page. Okay. Okay. So we are yeah. going to navigate to enter the website, enter the okay. application using the anchor tag. Okay, li is just like a content uh, hypertext. Okay, so here uh, I think I teach already in the HTML basics. Hypertext is uh, just normal, like uh, it's like a hypertext. Uh, and here hyperlink is clickable. Okay. Clickable. And navigation, navigation. You can create navigation entire the application. Just like home about services. Suppose if I click on the navigation about link, it should go to about page. Suppose if I click on the services, it should go to the service page. Okay, so that is hyperlink. Okay, the hypertext is just like our list items and the paragraphs like H1s, H1, H2, H3. Okay, and the table content, those are all hypertext. Hypertext is not clickable, just a plain text. 
Okay. You got it? Yes. Okay, so that is a different when uh, between the LI and the UL. So LI means just like uh, uh, static content, and the anchor is like navigational text, navigation hyperlinks. That's why given the some H4 color on uh, first anchors. Okay, so now it's clear. Uh, so here I'm going to hide the content. Here I'm going to display the hided content. So this is the order of our selectors okay first li parent li and then child ul and here i'm going to h over on the first parent li h over and uh, displaying the ul content which is the second level these content this uh, hyperlinks okay so it's clear now yeah <laughs> okay so now uh, when i'm also displaying but a little bit some alignment issues there we can fix that okay okay so when I'm also over displaying the new line and uh, some of the uh, alignment problem is there. Okay, so here let me apply the UL. Um, important. Yeah, go ahead. Can you uh, go back to the index HTML? Document. Yeah. One second. Which one? The uh, The index HTML. Index HTML. Okay. No, not the browser. The visual code. Okay. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me. So here, the UL, the setup looks different. Does it not need to be the? There's a top UL and then it ends after mobile development. Yeah, that's right. Uh, here I started the UL uh, second level uh, UL, and I listed out the four list items with anchor, and I closed immediately because these four uh, like with the UL, it's part of uh, services uh, navigation. Okay. So here I break down the services. Okay, I started UL LI anchor. Okay, and it should be closed within your services navigation. So this is my services navigation list item. So the placement for the UL yeah, doesn't matter. I, I missed out. I missed out that uh, anchor before I added again. It more. Yeah, it should be inside the anchor. So this is order. Okay, the parent li CSS uh, li tag and then anchor. Okay, and then UL. So and the close the closed UL uh, tag doesn't have to be right underneath the open one. Uh -huh. Can you repeat? Yeah. So the the second UL that opens right before web development doesn't that have to be right? above the close ul tag no 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 so that means this you can list out any like not only web development you can give any name but this is order ul anchor li anchor uh, so her question is actually the ul after mm -hmm. uh, services is in one mm -hmm. place right so the closed mm -hmm. uh, ul tag is uh on left hand left side right little uh okay okay so you mean to say that is facing about the spacing yeah see she's yeah no, no, she's no, no. that is not, that is not an issue, that is not an issue. no that Sorry. is not an issue the spacing oh. is not an issue it can give any more tabs also it can be like this that is not an issue okay, okay? you should That's check the board yeah. okay yeah, the space will ignore uh, on your browser Okay, uh, it's showing only the application, but when it go to the browser, it will ignore all the empty spaces. That is not an issue. Okay. Okay, okay. so now let me check. So display. Okay, so now I have to add a little more CSS here. Display block. The first level, the second level, you will. Okay.
Okay, so here I'm going to use the float left. Showing so it's somewhat a little bit jumping. Okay, let me check. Somewhere small mistake is there, like it's uh, like jumping. Okay. Uh, let me check the main navigation, my header, my map load right. Okay, so the drop down is square table things correctly. So what happened here? Mm. 
Mm -hmm. No, actually, uh, uh, what I'm trying uh, when I mouse over services, mm -hmm. okay, uh, it should list out like one below, not like this. Right. right so right. how it is, uh, how it is uh, in the service section, like uh, list out one below. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So it look like that. that's what I'm trying here, but it's working. The mouse over displaying and hiding. But uh, when it, that's what I applied to here. The the display block. So the display block means uh, it will display the content at the same time it is a, uh, like a block element like a block content means the, all the block content will display one below not like mm -hmm. a side by side okay first mm -hmm. we need to change uh, uh, from side side by side text to below one one below one and then mm -hmm. we can apply others, like mouse over like changing background color text color okay and the uh, mm -hmm. second thing is it's breaking completely from the uh, when I'm also on the services, uh, the breaking and it's coming outside of uh, header. Okay, some mm -hmm. uh, some small minor issues there in our CSS. Okay, mm -hmm. everything is correct. There's no issue. The container for the is correct. <coughs> Let me uh, write the uh, again this. This let me check. Maybe some order problem is there here. Okay, so this is our order. Okay, link uh, list item anchor href services anchor link a uh, list item. Okay, so mm -hmm. let me this. Okay, now it's everything is fine. And now I have to have to add the content before LA. Okay, before closing LA. UL, I need to start with UL. So inside you here, I'm going to use the four navigation items. Okay, so here if you select the first the services ally, highlighting the closing ally. And right. after the uh, anchor, okay, for the anchor purpose, so the service purpose is the anchor tag and close immediately. Okay, mm -hmm. and the started URL and ally. Okay, so let me check out. No, again, same. Somehow, uh, some technical problem is. Let me check on the IE browser. Yeah, here also problem. Same thing. Yeah, somehow, uh, small minor issue is there. Coding itself and everything is correct, but I'm not sure where the problem is. Here it is displaying you know, this remote load plant. Mm 
Uh, uh, I will fix this one. Uh, there is no any action, there, nothing is there. Everything is fine. Okay. okay. So mm -hmm. I will fix this and I will go to the next section. Like uh, after completing this now work with uh, drop down and down. Mm. Okay, and uh, we start the side part from tomorrow. Okay, okay. Sure. so I will send this file and just uh, start the practice so that you will uh, get some idea. So, how to yes. write the HTML, okay, like in some order, okay, and uh, applying the CSS, okay, and how to write the selectors like a parent selector, child selector, okay, like a anchor dog, uh, pseudo selector, like HO, like this. Okay, so I will send the document and start the practice. Okay. Um, yeah, everything is safe. No, actually nothing is safe. It's everything is correct, 100%. What happened at all? No, no thanks. Okay, and uh, today we've done. Uh, we'll fix this uh, navigation and we'll teach in the first five to ten minutes, and uh, we'll go to the next section, the slide part. Sure. This uh, hundred percent of full screen plan. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. 